Okay, now we will take up the next three set of problems that is problem number 16 to 18, 16, 17 and 18 of exercise number 7.2 of the NCRT book on integration by the method of substitutions. Substitution, okay. These are the three problems. Problem number 16, integrate e to the power of 2x plus 3. 17, integrate x over e to the power of x squared. Problem 18, integrate e to the power of tan inverse x by 1 plus x squared. So now let me begin with 16th problem. Write the problem in the standard manner as i equals integral e to the power of 2x plus 3 dx. If the function consists of e to the power of x dx, put e to the power of x equals t. That is okay. But here, you see, I will, uh, I can also do it like this. Put 2x plus 3 equals t. I am now making this function to bring it to the form e to the power of x dx. It is e to the power of 2x plus 3 right now. If I put, if I put 2x plus 3 as t, then it becomes e to the power of t. So it matches this form. Now let's see what happens to the value of dx. So differentiating with respect to x, differential coefficient of 2x is 2 plus differential coefficient of 3 is 0 equals dt by dx if you differentiate with respect to x or 2dx equals dt. I want the value of only dx. So only dx is dt by 2. Therefore the problem becomes i equals e to the power of t into dt by 2 because dx is dt by 2. So this is half is outside, half, half is a constant now, take it outside the integral sign, e to the power of t dt. Now the problem is similar to the one that we have here, e to the power of x dx. So what is the integration? Integration is half of e to the power of t, if you integrate you get e to the power of t only plus c. So that is half e to the power of t is 2x plus 3 plus c. That is the answer. Okay, very simple. Or even by inspection you can write e to the power of ax plus b. So answer is 1 by 2 e to the power of 2x plus 3 plus c. Very simple problem. Problem number 17. i equals integral x by e to the power of x square dx. If the problem consists of x dx, x dx as a factor, put x square plus some constant equals t. Here there is no constant for the x square term, so just put x square equals t. This implies differentiate 2x and dx taking to LHS equals dt. So x dx becomes dt by 2. x dx becomes dt by 2. Therefore, the problem becomes i equals integral. See, this numerator x dx can be replaced by dt over 2 divided by e to the power of x square and x square you had put it as t. So, this is half is outside integral dt by e to the power of t which you can write as half of integral e to the power of minus t dt taking e to the power of t from denominator to numerator or i equals half and differentiate integrate e to the power of minus t. If you integrate e to the power of minus t, you know you get it is like this. It is of the form e to the power of ax plus b. Okay, so answer begins with what? 1 by a. So here this is what is the sign here? Minus. So minus e to the power of minus t plus c. Okay, e to the integration of e to the power of x dx is e to the power of x. Integration of e to the power of minus x is minus e to the power of x. So now you substitute this is half of minus e to the power of minus t and what is t had put? x square plus c. So minus or you can write this as minus e to the power of minus x square divided by 2 plus c. Both are same. <coughs> okay. Well. Problem number 18. Look at the problem number 18. Write it in the standard manner. i equals integral e to the power of tan inverse x 
over 1 plus x square dx. If you observe the problem, now this problem contains, see here, dx is there in the numerator and 1 plus x square is there in the denominator. Or I can say 1 over 1 plus x square into dx and e to the power of tan inverse 6 is also there. So if at all the problem contains 1 by 1 plus x square dx as a factor, if the problem contains 1 by 1 plus x square dx as a factor, then definitely there must be tan inverse x component in the problem and that component has to be put as t. So here we have tan inverse x and we shall put that as t. Okay. So put tan inverse x equals t. Differentiating with respect to x. All of you know that differential coefficient of tan inverse x is 1 over 1 plus x square into dx equals dt because if you differentiate t you get dt by dx the dx I have taken this side so in this problem dx by 1 plus x square can be replaced by dt therefore problem becomes i equals integral e to the power of t and dx by 1 plus x square is dt see how the problem gets reduced this is e to the power of t and dx by 1 plus x square is dt <coughs> so what is the integration of e to the power of t e to the power of t plus c. So the answer is e to the power of tan inverse x plus c. That's all. Okay. So we have finished problem 16, 17 and 18. In the next set we will take up another three problems. Okay.